What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with a late edition of my G Gundam reviews. I know I didn't put one out on Saturday, but that's because Friday, I want to go see John Wick. And I didn't get back till really late. And then I played, uh, played, what, what was I playing? Oh, Conan Exiles till late in the night. And you can catch all that on the playlists. But, right, but that's besides the point. We're not talking John Wick. We're not talking Conan, even though I'll probably play Conan later. We're talking G Gundam. Now, as we move forward, um, I, I this episode is special. G Gundam is very special to me. It's one of the first animes I watched, like, all the way through. But, like, these first two episodes of the tournament, like, after the whole clip episode that I was able to go through real fast. These first two episodes I remember very vividly just sitting down and enjoying. I remember them so clearly, but when I first watched G Gundam, I think I only got these two episodes, maybe one more and then I never got to finish it for all sorts of crazy reasons, who really knows. But I just, I love these, this show. I love this anime and I think it's good. And uh, I've been hearing people talk a lot about how we also need to be talking about things that are good. That's why I do anime odyssey once a month over on Adam of the Renaissance channel. And then I do this almost every week because talking about stuff that is good other than just the stuff that's crap is good for the soul. It's good for the spirit, but well, let, let's get into this week's episode. So this week is all about kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of how to describe it to the best of its ability without getting too much into detail just yet, but it's a young boy that wants to be a Gundam pilot and does some kind of rough things to get there, but it, it he he does things that he shouldn't do and it has consequences and hey, growing up when you're a young kid. You do stupid stuff. We all did it. Don't lie. But the episode opens on a bunch of kids running up some stairs as they're so eager to get to go watch a Gundam fight. And currently they're watching Gundam Maxter take on Gundam Zebra. America versus uh, Kenya. And Zebra is basically already in the losing position here. And they cheated. They went into the stadium because they wanted to get the best seats in the house to watch this match. Like, they're in a no-go zone. And they're watching as the match goes on, and they're like, oh, my God, this is so cool. This is so awesome. And this young boy, whose name, I think it's Cho. I think it's Cho. I could be getting that wrong, but I think it's Cho. He's mesmerized by the match. And th this is kind of our main, one of our main focal points for this week's episode, is Cho being just mesmerized by Gundams and he's so hypnotized by how powerful they are, how magnificent they are. And he vows that he's going to become a Gundam pilot. He wants to pilot a Gundam just because of how strong they are. And then we get our, our narrator saying, ah, to be young again, back when you viewed the world so clearly, so beautifully, and you had things that you idolize. And that's what Chow I Cho idolizes is Gundam, is the fight, is these massive chunks of equipment. And I think that's kind of dehumanizing because I idolize Gundams to a certain extent. I think they're beautiful. I think they are designed magnificently. And that's the uniqueness of this episode. So we then also get our opponent for this week, which is Cobra Gundam from Neo India. Match fight, let's go. And... That's the interesting bit is the folk this week's main focus is Cho. His goal is our main focus because he does stupid stuff to try to reach his goal and things that you probably shouldn't do. But we're back over in Chow's the guy in charge of Hong Kong. I can never remember his name, but they're. Taking note that, hey, Master won. Maxter won his match. And now, uh, really easily, Kenya wasn't that big of a fight. But now we need to figure out a nice match for next time. And uh, we're going to put Gundam, uh, 
Burning Gundam up against an interesting match. How, how about if we do Cobra Gundam? And they take note of, you told me to only send him the toughest fighters. And that's exactly what Master is proud of. He's like, hey, this is going to be one heck of a match for him. Let's have some fun, shall we? Then we cut away. And we see this interesting man playing one of those like little cobra flute things, you know, make do that. The things that control the cobras, you know, that, that weird thing. And he's just sitting up here playing away. We then cut to a street corner where we find Domon and the little kids. Boy's name is Hoy because he's also important in this episode. I learned that. I'll probably forget it by the next episode, but. The young girl and Hoi are getting, making Domon basically pick up a bunch of food because he's helping grocery shop with them. Domon's like, oh, do we really need all this stuff? And they're like, yeah, you know, we it's for food. Let, let's do this. Then uh, they get the total for how much food they have, and it's a fudge ton. And Domon's like, wait, you want me to pay for it? I thought I was a guest. And, you know, the little boy and girl are like, well, we're friends, aren't we? Let, help us pay, you know? We we, we got this. They're, you know, they're having a fun little moment. And then you cut over here and you see Cho. Again, I think I'm getting that wrong. Cho's over here watching them. And he's surprised that Hoi wasn't lying. Because I guess Hoi is also their friend when he said that he knows a Gundam fighter. And he knows Domon the Gundam fighter, like the main guy. And Cho's kind of curious about that, but out of nowhere, you know, you see Cho watching him. Domon turns around because he feels somebody watching him. He knows something isn't up. Somebody's following him. Somebody's watching him. And when Cho sees that Domon turns around to take a look at him, kind of disappears, but then they take note of, hey, Domon, what's up? And it's like, I, I don't know. And they, you know, they're prepping up and Hoy is saying, well, you're a Gundam fighter. Everybody's watching you. You're like one of these really cool dudes. You, you're going to be watched. It, it's okay. Nothing wrong. And Hoy's there mesmerized by a Domon and they're all having a good time in the streets, you know, as a, as a happy little friendship. Domon there with rain, somebody he admires, these two little kids that are just adorable. We cut back over to Chow. Looking up again with all the boy with all of his friends, and they're like, Man, it he really is true. He really is friends with Domon D fighter. You know, he's like the coolest fighter ever. And they're mesmerized, and then Domon takes a look their direction again and immediately starts running because he notices somebody is watching him. And he yells, Who are you? Why are you watching me? Why are you following me? And they he goes running their direction, leaps over a bunch of boxes, and you think that he's running after them, but he's not. He's running after somebody else who's been following him. They also think that they, he's coming after them. That's why when he rushes past them, they're like, well, where is he going? What's up? Dolan then gets deeper into the alleyways, finds this kind of dead end, and he's like, show yourself why are you following me. Then then you hear the flute again. You know, the, the cobra flute. Let's call it that. That's the easiest way to call it. You hear it playing, and you... Don't quite know where it's coming from. And then Domon just takes a look one direction down an alley. And you see some eye. I'm trying to get the shot because there's this really cool shot of just four eyes. There it is. Four eyes glowing red in this alleyway. There we go. Just standing there watching at him as it slowly comes out. And you see the fighter from India come out with a flute. And he's talking... He has that uh, the dual pitch, you know. Uh, one voice is lower than the other, and it's doing simultaneously, so it sounds more menacing. He is a creepy dude, by the way. Like, he's green. I don't know why he's green, but he's green. He's even green in the original version, so I don't know. Kind of creepy. But he comes out introducing himself as this really, as a, a fighter, and he's here to take on Domon and just, kick his butt and he's a top a monstrous cobra just something massive i don't want to see this in real life if these exist don't don't send them my way you know i'm fine with snakes not that big though 
And Delmon's like, well, I'll just take you on here because you're following me. And the dude's like, nah, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Delmon doesn't even know who this dude is yet. And he's already here to fight. So Delmon tries to strike. The dude jumps, does a backflip doing this weird flip, sends the cobra in, and the cobra wraps up Domon while the dude's spinning in the air and gets Domon locked up. The dude comes down and slams onto Domon, causing massive damage. And as Domon's there, just unable to get out of this attack, the dude tries, well, prepares to kill him. Just offs him. Just wants to off him right here, right now. Better to off him now than to have to try to fight him in the tournament. I mean, all's fair in love and war. And before the guy can actually, you know, begin the fight, he realizes uh, Rain and the kids are coming down the other way. So he retreats with the Cobra. Says they'll fight in the tournament. Domon's down on the ground kind of in pain. And Hoy comes up saying, hey, are, are you okay? What's wrong? And Domon's there, you know, like, hey, it's not that bad. I, I, it's not going to be the end of the world. And we cut over to Cho again. And Cho's kind of concerned, but at the same time, he he has a plan. He's like, I'm stronger than that dude, you know? I, I just watched Domon struggle with a cobra. I could beat him. I could have beat that cobra guy. I didn't I wouldn't have gotten wrapped up. I could do this. So you know what? I am gonna take his Gundam and I'm gonna be better than him. And that's the plan. He's going to he's going to steal the Gundam. Cut over to the boat later that night as old man's like, oh, so you had an interesting day, huh? Dumbledore's like, uh, yep. Rain ends up looking up the dude who the, he is supposed to be fighting, and we fee see him. The Gundam from Neo-India, and it is a really unique Gundam. You watch how he fights for a moment. You see, this is Toro Gundam from Spain, by the way, if you're new. And Toro Gundam does two strikes, and the dude just dodges before he wraps him up and immediately takes him out that way that's how he fights he dodges your attacks wraps you up and then wins a very simple fighting style but it's because of his way of moving and they end up seeing his name he's from neo india his name is shajimi shajima shajima i got it shandar shajima Call him Shijima through the whole thing. I know I'm focusing on his name, but I'm going to forget his name in a minute because I forgot his name until now. And Delmon learns this time that he's his match for tomorrow. And they're all like, well, how did, how did Shizi, Sh Shijima, I got it. Don't, don't look at me. I got it. How did he know that they're going to be fighting before Delmon knew? Which is an interesting question. How did he know? We don't get that answered. But it is an interesting point. How, how did he know first? Dolan's like, ah, doesn't matter. I'll kick his butt. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go over to the... He quickly says he's going to go work on the burning Gundam. He'll be late for dinner. Little girl pops up from the deck and says, well, speaking of dinner, Hoy's outside playing with his friends. So I'm going to need some help in the kitchen. They have this little laugh moment where Dolan volunteers rain so that she can learn a little bit more. but. The point, the biggest point in this moment is Hoy's outside playing with his friends. Already established that Hoy has a friend, is friends with a uh, Cho. Cho wishes to steal the uh, burning Gundam because he thinks he's going to be better than Domo. So that's, that's where we're at now. Coming to like one of the pivotal moments in this whole episode, one, a serious moment. You see this? We're, we're right outside right now. Neo Japan's like dock where they're storing Burning Gundam in between matches. And if, if you're new to animation, there's this little trick you can always know is look at the scenery. And if something's a little bit more colorful while everything else is kind of more. I don't want to say bland, but kind of painted over like specific colors, you know, some, to look at this area. It's just a little trick. When you look there, you see. Yep, underneath it is Cho and the boys. And they're like, so this is the place. This is where Burning Gundam is. We're going to sneak in there. And we're just going to wait. 
we're going to take that Gundam. And I think, yep, there's Hoy because Hoy knows where he is and Hoy's utilizing his connection. They're, they're kind of playing Hoy to use his connection to Domo to try to steal the Gundam. And Hoy is not really all up for it. Like you can see Hoy doesn't really like this because he, he is very fond of Domo and he idolizes Domo, but he also wants to be in with the kids. So they're like, Hey, you know, it's, it's okay. I don't want to do this. And then they start peer pressuring him saying, Hey, you'll be awesome. You know, come on, let, let's just do this. Let's have some fun. They get Hoy to come along, but still begrudgingly. They end up hearing Domo pull up into the building and that's when their plan gets sent into action. Domo's up there working on Gundam and Hoy comes running in after the door has been open. Hoy comes running in telling Domo, hey, we, there's something you need to help me with. Come on quickly. Hurry, hurry. And Domo, you know, trusting Hoy immediately comes down as Hoy's begging him for help. And Domo comes and says, OK, what, what's wrong, Hoy? Hoy's struggling to answer. You see Cho and the other boys come bursting in. Cho gets on the elevator platform to get into the Gundam to steal it from Domo. And Domo knows that this, this isn't good. This is really, really bad. A kid in a Gundam is bad. But what's worse is what's about to happen. So midpoint, get in the Gundam. And the Gundam alarm is signing off because it knows somebody in there, somebody's in there that's not Domo. All the other kids, except for Hoy, are excited. Like, hey, we did it. We actually got in there. Cho's in there. You know, he's suiting up. And he's like, I'm just going to take this. You know, I'm going to have fun. This is going to be okay. You know, nothing bad's going to happen. Domo's like, you need to hurry up and get out. And as he's, you know, being very cocky, saying, hey, it's not going to be that bad. He starts realizing that, nah, this isn't good. We get, a, we get something here that I do really like. The trace system. Just some acknowledgement of the trace system and why only certain people can pilot Gundams. This suit that Cho is putting on is super freaking tight and it hurts. It is borderline crushing him right now. That's how tight this suit is and his body can't take it. So he starts struggling. He starts freaking out. He can't move and the Gundam starts he, he starts panicking and pain. Domo rushes over, gets on the elevator platform to try to help him out. And he says, don't move. And Hoy can't listen because he's a kid. He's scared. He's starting to freak out. His body's hurting. So he starts cr moving around and an arm, the burning Gundam falls forward because he's in pain because it's still starting to connect with Cho's body. So it's going to start mimicking some of Cho's movements and Cho's now on the ground. So that's what it does. And, because of that, Domo falls to the ground, lands hard on his shoulder. And you see Hoy coming over, trying to figure out, is Domo okay? And Domo's mad. His trust in Hoy was just kind of used against him. And he, take, he takes a look at Hoy and goes like, hey, did Shiwajima put you up to this? Why did you do this? What Are, are you stupid? Why did you do this? So you, you did this against me, Hoy. Was this your big idea? And in screaming at him, he realizes his, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm holding my own version of it. No. If I flip around. Yeah, it should be. His right shoulder is hurt. Yeah. His right shoulder is hurt right now. And he is struggling. Cho realizes, you know, he's in serious pain. You see, we cut back over to Cho. Did I say Cho? No, Hoi. But we cut over to Cho now. Struggling in the Gundam. Domo's like, hey, we need to hurry up. And in the doorway, you see the Cobra and Shiwajima just pop in to watch as all this is happening, getting some information on his opponent. Domo comes rushing over to the, to the entryway to see Cho's in there struggling. He's like, Cho, you need to, you need to quit moving. One wrong move. And this whole system will crush every bone in your body. You need to relax. And Cho responds with, I'm, I'm trying, but it hurts so much. I, I can't. So Domo punches him straight in the gut, knocking him out successfully pulling him out but in doing this he is pissed his shoulder hurts because of the fall he's furious and as he looks up he sees shiwajima in the doorway that's when he realizes hey this he starts thinking everybody was put up against him we cut outside cho wakes up 
sees Hoy, and Domon's furious. He takes Cho by the shirt and says, did Shiwajima put you up to this? Did Shiwajima put you all up to this to steal the Gundam, to get information, to use against me? Did, is this his doing? And they're not responding. They're scared because Domon's furious right now, and it, they just don't answer. And Domon gets up and starts, you know, he's hurt. Hoy tries to console him and, you know, apologize, and Domon just walks away furious with them thinking he can't trust them and in and domon's defense right now hoy utilized his trust and domon's trust in him to try to steal the don't the gundam even if hoy wasn't okay with it it he messed up but this is how young kids are you're gonna do dumb stuff and hoy trying to be in with what he considers the cool kids really messed up and you broke some trust here you know, gets repaired but it is a it's a moment like hey kids are stupid they're gonna do stupid things and sometimes they're gonna hurt your feelings and they uh cho looks at one of the kids because he noticed domon was grabbing a shoulder and he was like did did domon get hurt trying to save me and he's like yeah he he got really hurt and this match is tomorrow and cho's starting to feel guilty he he hurt domon and thinks he might lose because of that cut up we cut away cut to the next day Round one of the match for today, in round two, you see Rose Gundam won his match flawlessly. And now we're preparing for the second round of today's matches. And it's Burning Gundam versus Cobra Gundam. Domon's all set. Everything's going well. Cut into the crowds where we see Hoy and the kids there. You know, Hoy's kind of concerned. The kids are too. And Old man's like, Hoy, are you are you okay? Do you not feel well? You know, you look kind of you look kind of ill. And Hoy, and it's important because the kids, other than this kid with a smirk, the kids know what happened. They're kind of concerned. And Cho's over here like, I I he's gonna win. He's definitely gonna win. Cut inside where we see Master Asia and Hong Kong dude. They're talking and they go like, it turns out Dumbum was uh, hurt last night really badly. Hopefully this doesn't end up in a bloody mess and there's not a casualty and Master Ace is like pretty sure this will be an interesting match and a good learning moment for Domon. Domon's all set to fight out on the field and as he's ready he watches as this giant pot comes out of the ground and out of the pot comes Cobra Gundam playing his flute and Domon's like J Gundam coming out of pot? What? And you see Cobra Gundam just slithering around and Shiwajima's in there like, I'm going to take you out today. This is it. You're not winning. And you see, I, I do like how Shiwajima fights too. Th this is a very unique thing. I don't know why the Cobra doesn't get a tray suit, but it doesn't. But he's in the unit riding atop his Cobra. And this is how he fights. He utilizes the Cobra's movements along with Cobra Gundam to help maneuver. That's why he can dodge so well. It, it is a very unique system. Moves just like a snake. Gundam fight ready, set, go! And as the match begins, Domon is struggling because immediately Shiwajima is utilizing the knowledge that he learned last night to just hammer on Domon's weak spot. Hammer on his injured shoulder. Now, this is also a actual fighting strategy. Very legal, very good it's actually a very good strategy of hey when your opponent has a weak spot exploit it to your very living ends as long as it's legal as long as it's not like, like you know in the nether regions you exploit that weak point if it's your knee if it's your ankle if it's your shoulder like right now you hammer it you hammer that spot to the bitter end and that's what Shiwajima does, just constantly hitting Domon. And there, everybody's like, hey, th this is bad. You know, you see Hoi and Cho and the other two, like, oh my God, this is all our fault. He's going to lose. And Shiwajima's like, I'm just going to keep hitting the spot. I'm just going to keep brutalizing you. And you see him just one after another landing right on that shoulder, just enjoying it. And Hoi and Cho are struggling to watch this. Cobra Gundam gets up because Domon starts trying to hit him with Vulcan guns and gets up and flies away and you end up seeing him throw something up into air. Domon tries to shoot it and it was just the pot 
And then in that moment, because Domon's eyes were away, Cobra Gundam exploits that and wraps him up. Wraps him up, utilizing the Cobra part of his body and just pins him down. He cannot move and he's struggling. He's all wrapped up just like when he was in the... Uh... Oh, trying to get it. Just like when he was in the alley by Shiwajima. He's just... He's constrained. He cannot move. Utilizing everything he can. Domon's in a pickle. And everybody's like, hey, don't know what's happening. Domon needs to fight. This is struggling. Help. They don't know how to win this. Domon's just in a hard plot spot. Cho and Hoi decide, hey, we need to help. We need to do something. So they rush over to because they can't watch this so they rush over to neo japan's area they get told hey you need to leave we're in the middle of a match and hoy and cho are like hey we need to respond we need to talk to him we have to this is our fault we have to help and they get they get to talk and first up is hoy and hoy apologizes he's like hey i'm sorry for what happened i didn't mean to do this i'm, I'm super sorry and Domon doesn't want to hear it right now because he's in the middle of a fight, understandably, but Hoy has to get this off his chest because it's aching at him. Oh, it's a young kid. He disappointed somebody he really cares about. It doesn't matter what time or place it is. You're going to admit it. You're going to be like, hey, I'm sorry, okay? Then Cho comes in and says, hey, I'm the kid that tried to steal your Gundam. It wasn't Hoy's idea. It wasn't Shiwajima's idea. This is all my idea, and I feel bad because he got hurt because of my stupidity. So please, you need to win this. You you got to win this. And Domon's like, it, it was your idea? And the only way to make this all better is for me to win? Okay. I'll win. And as Domon, you know, he's still struggling and stuff. We see this. I'm going to fanboy a little bit over the design of Cobra Gundam because I do find this cool. Cobra Gundam said, you know, Shiwajima's like, this is it. Time for me to win. We cut away and we see Cobra Gundam, sep Cobra Gundam separates. Bottom half still is constricting Domon. Top half grows legs and is standing. This way he can strike. He has leg units as well. So he's not just this giant snake. He's two parts. I love this design. I, I, oh, God, it's so cool. And he's like, this is it. I'm going to take you out. And Domon's like, I need to figure out how to get out of this. And in that moment, he remembers, relax. You know how he got Cho out. You got to relax. So he relaxes his body just enough to dislocate his shoulder in real life. And I love this part. He dislocates his real shoulder. And in doing that, he dislocates his Gundam's shoulder. Don't think it quite works that way. But it does. So, and because of that, he gets enough room to now be able to move breaks out immediately jumps up and goes straight into burning finger and just slams right into cobra gundam winning the match oh it was so cool it was such an awesome attack domon immediately relocates his shoulder and everything you know it's still damaged they're all you know master asia's like knew he was gonna win Nothing like my student not good. Just a little injury isn't going to end my student. We get outside and Domon's there with the young boys, you know. They're all, you know, still sad and concerned. And Domon looks down at them and like, hey, we're all friends. I'm going to give you guys some advice. You want to become Gundam pilots eventually? All of you need to start training your bodies to become strong enough to handle the trace suit. This isn't the end of the world. You guys messed up, but, you know, you're going to grow and you're going to do stupid things. That's that. And they're all, you know, they, happy ending. They're all, they all made up. Everything's good. And Domon has a bunch of friends and he's going to help the younger generation. I found this episode so good because yeah, you have the stupidity of kids. You have this struggling fight, but what it really was, was, Hey, Domon, Domon's fine. And he cares about these kids and he's going to help out. It's dumb kids doing dumb kid stuff, but all that being said, guys, let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.